What is a paradox? Something that is true, but it's impossible that it's true. In this video, I'll be explaining to you my top 10 favorite paradoxes. Let's get right into it. The omnipotence paradox. The word omnipotent means all powerful. So could an omnipotent God create a rock so large that not even he could move it? Some angles to debunk this are an omnipotent God wouldn't subject himself to a realm of logic that we understand. Or the fact that he can't do something when he can do everything must be a conscious choice. Others have also stated that this paradox is the reason they don't believe in God. Another way this paradox is often framed is, could God microwave a burrito so hot that not even he could eat it? The Prisoner's Dilemma Two prisoners who cannot communicate with each other are offered the opportunity to cooperate or defect. Even though it's in their best interest to cooperate, they usually defect. Let's look at it. In the situation where they cooperate, they will only get one year in prison. If one of them defects but the other cooperates, the one will get 10 years in prison and the other will get zero. This is what incentivizes the defect. But if both defect, which is what usually happens, they both get five years. They know all of these circumstances and yet they choose against it. What would you choose? Catch 22, a situation where someone is restricted by a rule or consequence that precludes their ability to escape it. This is an expression derived from the novel Catch 22, where a pilot tries to attempt to escape military service by claiming insanity. But in order to be concerned with your own safety, you have to be rational, which isn't insane. Therefore, he has to keep flying. Another example of this is applying for a job, but you need work experience to get the job. But without a job, you can't have experience. The Pinocchio Paradox. Pinocchio's nose grows when he tells a lie. So if he says, my nose will grow, either circumstance will result in a falsehood. This one is a logical paradox, similar to the following. The following sentence is false. The preceding sentence is true. The Monty Hall Paradox. Imagine you're on a game show and you have to choose between three doors. One of the doors has a car behind it. The other two doors have a goat behind it. You pick door one and the host knows what's behind the doors. So he opens door three and you see that it's a goat. Is it more advantageous to switch to door two or to keep door one? The solution to this paradox is to actually switch doors. Initially, you may think the chance is now 50-50, but it's actually 67% and 33%. An intuitive explanation is that if the contestant initially picks a goat, two of three doors, the contestant will win the car by switching because the other goat can no longer be picked. The host had to reveal its location. Whereas if the contestant initially picks the car, one of three doors, the contestant will not win the car by switching. Using the switching strategy, winning or losing thus only depends on whether the contestant has initially chosen a goat, which is a two-thirds probability, or the car, a one-thirds probability. The fact that the host subsequently reveals a goat in one of the unchosen doors changes nothing about the initial probability. The Fermi Paradox Given the expansiveness of the universe, the fact that we don't know of any existing aliens is almost illogical. Given that our solar system is quite young compared to the rest of the universe, roughly 4.5 billion years old compared to 13.8 billion, and that interstellar travel might be fairly easy to achieve given enough time, Earth should have been visited by aliens already. Schrodinger's cat. A cat is placed in a box with a grenade. The grenade has a 50% chance of going off. When it goes off, you cannot hear it, but you know that it has either gone off or it has not gone off. The cat is simultaneously alive and dead because you have not observed it. This thought experiment is based on the idea in quantum physics that particles can exist in two states until it is observed. Technically, you do not know whether the cat has died or has not died because you do not know what has happened in the box. So it exists in both possible states at the same time. The grandfather paradox. If you went back in time to kill your grandfather, you wouldn't have existed in the first place to be able to go back in time to kill your grandfather. My personal debunk for this is although it's a clear logic fail, time travel leads to many paradoxical situations simply because time travel is not possible. Or is it? The infinite hotel paradox. If a hotel with infinite rooms had infinite guests, 
it would be at full capacity, but yet it would still have room for more guests. The idea of this paradox was made to highlight the complexity of infinity in the math world. Infinity is unbounded, so no matter how big the number is, there's always a bigger number. Thus, if you want a room there, the hotel manager can easily arrange it for you. The suffering paradox. This one is as simple as adversity strengthens humans. Something bad ends up being good. Misfortune often saves humans from a worse catastrophe. This is my favorite paradox because it's absolutely applicable. Adversity is a catalyst for personal growth and self-discovery. When something sucks, it makes that which is good comparatively better. And there you have it. 10 mind-numbing paradoxes. Hard to wrap your head around. You already know. Another Enzo elaborates banger in the book. I'm dropping knowledge left, right, up, down, behind you. Check behind you. There's knowledge that I dropped right behind you. If you mess with this video, like and subscribe and comment an idea for the next one or comment your thoughts on this one. And until the next one, we out.